Hi, I'm Dom. I'm a product manager on the Google Play developer team. And I'm Solène, a product manager on the device integrity team at Google. Android is an amazing platform for apps and games. There are so many experiences to enjoy. The majority of users have good intentions and enjoy using apps and playing games the way they are intended. However, there are always actors who are less well-intentioned. This means you have to deal with abuse, such as cheating, tampering, fraud, theft, piracy, unauthorized access. Abuse often originates from untrustworthy interactions with your app coming from unknown accounts or unknown devices. In the past, we introduced separate APIs to help with specific problems, like the Safety Net Attestation API and Google Play licensing. This helps thousands of apps trust devices and user accounts every day. But the challenge continues to evolve. There are increasingly sophisticated forms of abuse that put your users and your business at risk. You've also told us that your concern about the complexity of integrating with multiple APIs and the fear of letting serious abuse through without even knowing. So we have unified our most advanced integrity technologies so that you can protect your apps by calling a single API. Here's what we're doing to help. The new Play Integrity API helps you detect risky and untrustworthy interactions with your app. It gives your backend server signals so that it can decide whether or not to trust an interaction with your app. The API helps you answer three questions. Is this your genuine binary? Is this a genuine Play install? And is this a genuine Android device? Once you know there is an issue, you can decide how to increase the user friction to reduce the risk to your app. We've been working closely with these developers to test the API, and it's already being used in production to protect apps and games. The new API has some key benefits. It's fully supported by Google Play with up-to-date documentation, samples, and best practices. You'll be able to configure the API from your Play console and get developer support. The integrity response is small and encrypted. It packages together multiple integrity signals into one response, so you don't need to implement multiple APIs. This API is also future-looking. It will support new device types and form factors and is designed to carry future integrity signals. So how does it work? The API allows your app server to communicate with Play servers to determine trust in a way that cannot be interfered with. Let's look at the main steps together. First, the user tries to do something, like signing to your app or join your multiplayer game. At this moment, your backend server starts an integrity check with a unique ID. Then your app makes a call to the Play Integrity API. The Play server has a lot of different signals to assess whether the device has been compromised and whether it has passed the certification tests. Play also verifies the license. As a result, the Play Integrity API sends back a signed and encrypted verdict about whether you can trust the device and the binary. Your app forwards it back to your server, where you can analyze the verdict and check that it comes back with the same ID you sent it with. If everything is fine, you can let your user move on. All this happens almost instantaneously, so your users won't notice a delay. So this is how the Play Integrity API works. If you use Safety Net Attestation API, the implementation is very similar. Now, some important things to remember when using the API. Identify your main concerns. Do you have a piracy problem, fraudulent traffic, cheating, or something else? Measure how big the problem is and consider what it's costing you so that you know how much effort to put in reducing it. When it comes to integrity issues, there's no silver bullet, and the integrity API isn't intended to be one. You should use the API as part of an overall security and anti-abuse strategy. Make sure you're taking into account the risk of false positives 
and any cost you might be introducing to good users. Rather than blocking risky traffic, it's generally better to increase friction by requiring additional steps or to reduce functionality to the risky traffic. Finally, you should keep measuring and evolving. Listen to your users and stay up to date with Android and Play features and industry anti-abuse best practices. We're rolling out the Play Integrity API in the coming months. Find out more at g.co slash play slash integrity API. We're going to publish an integration guide for both apps that distribute on Google Play and apps that distribute elsewhere. We'll share more information about migrating from safety net device attestation and play licensing to the new API. Thanks for watching. We're really excited to launch the API and to hear your feedback.